السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایمان از دا بلیسنگز آف اللہ وین یو ہیو ایمان دین ڈانٹ بی پراؤڈ آف اٹ دیٹ یو ول بی بلیسڈ پیراڈائز بیکاز یو ہیو ایمان بٹ یو مسٹ ہیو دس آئیڈیا ان یور مائنڈ دیٹ وین اے پرسن ہیز ایمان اینڈ سینسیئر ود اللہ دیٹ دیٹ پرسن از پٹ انڈر ٹیسٹ اینڈ ٹرائل اینڈ اللہ وانٹس ٹو سی دیٹ پرسن ہاؤ مچ سینسیئر از دیٹ پرسن ود می سو دس وے دیٹ پرسن از ایگزامنڈ بائی اللہ مینی ٹائمس سو ڈونٹ وری اف یو ہیو اسٹرانگ ایمان and you are under test and trial and you must request allah that o oh allah if you put me under test and trial then you bless me uh, like freedom from all types of worries and troubles and problems which are in which which are intangible which are uh, attached with the test and trial so inshallah then allah will remove the worries and troubles and problems which are attached with that or allah will give you the way how to how to come out from those type of troubles and problems and you will feel easy and all the test and trials and troubles and problems which are attached with your Uh, examination or test so you will pass inshallah so you will pass inshallah so this way you can look this one in surah ankabut allah said this one in that that allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim ahasiban nasu ay yutraku people should not understand that they will be left ayakulu when they say amanna that we are with iman when they say we are with iman they should not have idea in their mind now we have got freedom from the hell and we our blessed people will find place in paradise so they must have idea in their mind allah said wa hum la yufta noon that these people will be put under test and trial so the people who have more iman that person will have more test and trial so that person will be examined more as compared to the person who have no iman because the people who are with iman they are put under test and trial you can see uh, the the best iman is with the prophets every prophet was put under test and trial so much you can you have so many examples of that you can see ayub alai salam you can see yaqub alai salam you can say rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so test and trial they will put in that so this way the person who has more iman that have more examination more test and trial so this way this is a very important point that when you are under examination so holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you can make dua no oh allah the the troubles problems and worries which are attached with test and trial please remove them from us so this is very very important and then so this way allah said احاسبن الناس ان يتركوا ان يقولوا امنا وهم لا يفتنون so the people who who have iman they say we have iman so they 
they should not understand that they will be left to and they will not put under the test and trial. So Allah said to Walaka the next ayat Surah An Kabut ayat number three Walaka the Fatan al Lazina min kablihim and indeed we have examined we have put uh, uh, under test and trial the people min kablihim who are before you Fala ya la man Allahu. So Allah wants to get the knowledge of those people. Allah zina sadaku who are true, true. Fala ya la man al kazibin and who are liar. So some people they say we have iman, but inside there there is no iman. Allah wants to see them because many people are hypocrite. So this way, hypocrite is that person who says something apparently, but inside is no that one. In the heart, that person is not that one. So actually lying. And hypocrisy is this one. That person says something openly, but in heart, the person has some other idea. So this is very important to understand that every person who has Iman, that person is put under test and trial by Allah. And this way Allah said, وَلَكَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Allah said, we have examined the people who were before you. They were also with Iman and they were tested. They put under test and trial. They were uh, examined. Why examination? Allah said next, فَلَا يَا لَمَنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا So Allah can have the knowledge of the people who are true, whose iman is true. وَلَا يَا لَمَنَّ الْقَازِبِينَ And Allah know those people also who are lying, who are telling lies. They say something, but actually nothing. So this, they say we are with iman, but they have no sense here with their iman. So this way, Iman must have sincerity, purity, and more uh, concentration and focus towards Allah. And uh, and uh, what we got from Holy Prophet Sallallahu Quran or Sunnah, we must have Iman on that, and we have to follow to make our deeds according to that. So this is very important. So this way Iman is uh, is judged by Allah. So Allah wants to see it. Very important. Be careful. Try to look after your Iman every time. And our Iman start when we believe in Allah first. Aman to Billah. And we our belief in Allah becomes more strong when we know Allah with His names and we understand the names of Allah. Today we are learning the name of Allah, Mu'iz, who bless you honor, who give you honor. So Mu'iz, Ya Mu'izu, Ya Mu'izu, Ya Mu'izu, like this, Allah's name. So MashaAllah. If a person who is just to start reciting Allah's name, Ya Mu'izzo, Ya Mu'izzo, after Salatul Isha, start from Friday and Friday night, then it will be very good. So start uh, at least one, uh, 140 times. After Salatul Isha, MashaAllah, make a habit to read this one. Ya Mu'izzo, Ya Mu'izzo, and start and end with Durood o Salaam to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Sallam. Inshallah, you will get the blessings which are hidden in this name. That is the main thing which is giving you respect and honor in this world. So you will be popular before the people uh, with respect and regard and you will get the great honor. And inshallah, if you will, you will be a good person to follow the commands of Allah in your life, you will get the honors at the day of judgment also.
and the person who has taught reading 140 times after Salatul Isha every night this Yamu Izo so inshallah that person will get honor respect and will not be will not have fear from any person and up to the day of judgment after up to the death if the person will continue inshallah that person will have only fear of Allah nothing else mashallah so this Moiz, Allah's name, mashallah, it gave you honor, it gave you power, it gave you strength and might. It strengthened your respect and honor before your friends, before the people of the world. It protected you from the sins. It gave you reliance towards forgiveness when something happened against Sharia automatically uh, because of uh, your Iman that brings you before Allah for forgiveness of your faults or sins mashallah and empower you to lead the people also and you, it will, you will be granted victory mashallah and your status will be raised so you will get so much benefit of it because if you are like working at a position, so your position will be promoted, mashallah, with the blessings of Allah. So the person feel satisfied. All types of greed finish. All types of false hopes, they leave from you. Mashallah. So the person reading Yamu Izzo, so that person will become a center of honor among the people. They will have respect and regard of that people with their hearts. MashaAllah. So this is Allah's blessings. <coughs> Even <coughs> if you are unable to read 140 times, you can read after Salatul Maghrib at least 41 times. If you read 41 times after Salatul Maghrib, Ya Mu'izzo, Ya Mu'izzo, start and end with Durudu Salam to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will get the benefit of it, inshallah. And uh, <coughs> if a person who has complained of rizq, the person say, oh, my rizq has been fallen down, and uh, I have uh, I have problem. How can I survive? And how can I fulfill the needs of my family? Or uh, if the person who is under the burden of debt, <coughs> so that person must read Yamu Izu <coughs> one hundred forty times after every salah. Inshallah, all types of loan and debt which the person has, that will be paid and Allah will make arrangement of that. And also, uh, the person who has problem of uh, risk, so risk will become wide and open for that person, Inshallah. So this way... Uh, the other very important thing, like if you are going to get the job, you are on the way, you try to recite Yamu Izu, Yamu Izu, Yamu Izu. When you will be before the person who is interviewing you, so inshallah, you will get the job. But you must have good intention, sincere with your intention, and try to, try to stay with Vudu. That is important. And, uh, and, and don't forget any salah, pray five times a day. And uh, when you listen or hear the uh, azan, then you have to reply that one and uh, read dua after that also. And uh, in the morning time after Salatul Fajr, try to, try to recite uh, Holy Quran. You can recite before Salatul Fajr or you can recite after Salatul Fajr. Fajr, mashallah, you recite Holy Quran every day is very important. And when you have need, just try to 
میک لائک ٹو نفل صلاح صلاحت الحاجت صلاحت الصلاحت النیڈ لائک نیڈ فل صلاح سو یو پرے ٹو رکا اینڈ دین ریکویسٹ اللہ فار یور نیڈ ود ریسائٹنگ اللہ نیم یا معزو فورٹی ون ٹائم ان شاء اللہ یو ول بی بلیسڈ ماشاء اللہ سو دیٹ ول بی گیون ٹو یو اینڈ وین یو گیٹ دا بلیسنگ آف اللہ لائک آل ٹائپ آف بلیسنگ وچ کمس ٹو یو اور بینیفٹ وچ کمس ٹو یو سو یو مسٹ بی تھینک فل ٹو اللہ بیکاز ان سورہ ابراہیم اللہ سیڈ وین اے پرسن از وین اے پرسن از ماشاء اللہ از ریسائٹنگ لائک دس اللہ نیم موئزو اینڈ آلسو بی تھینک فل ٹو اللہ فار دا بلیسنگ آف اللہ that person will get more risk alhamdulillah and if you feel some problem within your life like something happen uh, in your life like pace and uh, trouble or something happen to you and you just have a patience don't show the angerness inshallah and make your uh, habit like uh, our tradition of your habit uh, soft and nice so that uh, softness is good and be silent don't say the things which are not needed so try to say which is needful otherwise you be silent is very important alhamdulillah you will get allah's blessings also also <coughs> and keep in mind if you are getting the good position in your life you don't be proud of that and don't think that you belong to some the respectable family or something family is nothing because uh, allah is just to look at your iman and good deed not family status not your uh, uh, relationship to someone because allah said in holy quran look surah hujrat allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim ya ayyuhan nas ان خلق نا کم من ذکر و انسا او پیپل آف دا ورلڈ اللہ کریٹڈ یو فرام ون وومن اینڈ فرام ون مین وج النا کم شعوبن اینڈ اللہ دین ڈیوائڈ یو ان ٹو ڈفرینٹ گروپس و کبا الا اینڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹرائبز سو دیز گروپس آف یو اور فیملیز آف یو دیز آر Uh, or your tribes these are let arafu these are just for recognition so that you should be recognized that you are from that tribe but what is respect and regard what is honor that is hidden under taqwa allah said next inna akramakum indallahi atqakum so the person who has more respect and regard before allah who is more honorable before allah that is the person who has taqwa who is more taqwa among you inna allah alimun khabir indeed allah knows uh, because allah has uh, all types of uh, uh, whatever we do allah have all information about that alhamdulillah so this is the position we must understand that allah is uh, knowing everything and uh, all type of respect and regard is hidden in taqwa taqwa is uh, uh, the people who do are who are doing more more good deeds uh, they are not to get taqwa taqwa comes when you are making yourself away from sinful things you are leaving sinful life when you are leaving sinful life you are attaining taqwa then automatically good deeds comes to you and you will follow that your life will be under the good deeds mashallah this way try to attain taqwa that is the main thing to get you uh, the respect and regard and honor in this world and the world hereafter mashallah very important this one and uh, the other thing is that because you must understand that what is zaman tasha what is zillu man tasha all honor is before because of allah and when allah wants to give someone honor no one is to say allah allah himself when wants then allah bless the honor to the person so try to attach with allah with his own uh, name ya muizzu is very important 
so if you make a habit to recite yamo izo every night 144 times that will be also better mashallah and some people say when you are going to because some people they have examined they tested this is true like when you have a problem in the court and you are going to be you are true person like you are true and you have a problem in the court and you are going to the date in the court on the way if you recite yamo izo 117 times and uh, start and end with durud salam to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah you will get the blessings of allah mashallah and you will win the case inshallah so this will happen to you mashallah and don't worry about anything if the people who say something uh, the munafiqin they can't do anything because if you look at uh, the time of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is mentioned in holy quran surah munafiqun ayat number 8 so they tried to disrespect holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but they were disrespected or insulted by allah so allah said in holy quran surah munafiqun ayat number 8 auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim yaquluna la in rajana ila al madinati la yukhrijanna al az min hal azalla allah said yaquluna these people they say la in rajana when we will return to our city ila al madinati la yukhrijan al azu the people who are unable min hal azalla they will leave those people who are uh, having disrespect so this respect to full people they said about the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the and the companion of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this person the who was chief of them that was the chief of munafiqin uh, abdullah bin abi so he told this and then uh, when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him and he after uh, swearing he said no no i have not seen said this one but then allah told that this person was uh, this person said this also this we allah said to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't worry about these people uh, because walillahi alizzatu because izzat is with allah wali rasulihi and that is with holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and all the prophets they are honorable walil mu'minin and the people who have iman izzat is for them honor is for them walakin al munafiqina la ya'lamun and the munafiq people the hypocrites they don't know about it because all type of respect and regard and honor it is connected with the people of iman and it is connected with the messengers of allah and it is also connected with allah because because uh, allah said in other ayat surah safat ayat number 180 subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun subhana rabbika so your rabb is glorified rabbil izzati izzat honor is with allah amma yasifun if the people whatever they say don't worry about that so all izzat all respect and regard and honor it it is with allah so connection with allah is very important mashallah so this way when you recite <coughs> when you are <coughs> when you think like for example you have some type of enemy you want to get rid of enemy and uh, magic and jealousy then you have to recite uh, every day uh, after salatul isha uh, ya muizo 313 time and start and end with durud salam to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and if you are going to journey you want that your journey with be will be when on rebel way with respectful way then you have to recite 500 time at least or 510 times uh, recite ya mu izo uh, then you start your journey inshallah your journey will be safe and uh, you are uh, you will get honor and respect there also and pe- behind you your family will be in good condition also mashallah 
and if the person who has who has been disturbed by other person who disturbed the person and uh, by talking or by criticizing negatively and the person is under uh, under this teasing influence and trouble and problems and that person should not be worried because Allah is with the people like and this ayat I am reading now surah Yunus ayat number 65 if the person try to read this ayat at least seven times after every salah inshallah all types of worries will finish and those people who are negatively criticizing the person so they will be insulted by Allah and this person will get the respect and regard so this ayat is ayat number 65 surah yunus a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim wala yahzunka qawluhum innal izzata lillahi jamia huwa as-samiul alim wala yahzunka qawluhum whatever people they are saying so don't be sad about that uh, because in al izzat lillahi jamia because all type of honor it lies with allah who was samiul alim allah is hearing listening alim he has knowledge of everything so don't worry about that so this way uh, if a person who is uh, under uh, influence of other people who are negatively criticizing or uh, abusing the person verbally and that person start reading this uh, seven times after every salah so mashallah that person will get relief from them and allah will give them disrespect and he will get respect from allah mashallah we try to be more uh, uh, more and more uh, in connection with allah how is possible try to do tawbah astaghfar and all type of sins and evils whatever you have done uh, just uh, openly uh, accept before allah and say i will not do these type of things again i want to be your obedient slave and please accept me and give me power give me uh, courage give me uh, strength uh, to do uh, uh, good deeds in my life and uh, uh, protect my iman from shaitan and from my nafs and from the people intervention inshallah you will get to with the blessings of allah allah bless us ameen